Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Harvey's New Eyes. Last time, we did some favors for Edna, but still it is not enough. We need to find her diary and get it back to her. So let us go about doing that, I guess. Was that really so hard? The diary was lying right there. Or hanging, rather. The telltale drawings were dangling from the claw of a dumb, gawking pigeon. Aw, brought it to us, alright. The moment Lily tried to grab the diary, the pigeon rose in the air and carried it to the roof of the convent, where it disappeared in the rafters above Mother Superior's office. Well, Dogging shoot. certainly wasn't going to help. <gasps> Once again, Lily's path led her back towards the lion's den. Indeed. So we need to go to Mother Superior's office, I guess. By the way, off screen I got myself two achievements. One, uh, I started a new game. And you know when you are poking your head through the cellar window to see all the things you can't grab? If you try to grab something that's out of your reach, you'll say Lily's arms are too short. You do that enough times and you get an achievement. There are other times in the game you could do that, but I figured I'd just do that off screen right there because it's easy. I also got the balloons one. The achievement is called 99 Red Balloons because, of course, this is a German game. And uh, I think you actually have to get 99 freaking balloons from the guy. So, yeah, it takes a while. But I got those two achievements. So, yay for me. Oh, great. Finally! There you are! Lumpy starving! Did you get the cat food? Uh-uh. What?! And then you dare return here?! Off with you! Out! 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 Oh, uh, we'll never get the diary oh, at this rate. How I oh. loathe these ch ch children So we need to get that recipe from the boy. Hmm. Mother Superior had forbidden Lily from eating the deadly nightshade berries, but no one had said anything about taking them. Can we? All right. So uh, let's go see about doing that. So he's out by the well. Um. Who's coming to get her recipe back? If it isn't our little goody two shoes, Lily, you better split before I tie your shoelaces together. Or worse. Uh, we just need to toughen up. <laughs> if you're trying to impress me, you'll have to work a little harder. You're too scared to even hunt sparrows. And that means you won't get your recipe either. Hmm. Well, he gives us a little hint. There are sparrows Lily right here. Liked the sparrows. She would have never dreamed of shooting at them. On the other hand, she had to impress Shawnee to get the recipe. And we do have ourselves a gun. So there we go. Lily would have liked to show Shawnee that she was certainly tough enough to shoot at sparrows. But unfortunately, her musket wasn't loaded. Uh, well, we don't have any uh, buckshot, but we have the next best thing. Not to the nightshade, uh, marbles. Hooray! The marbles were the perfect ammunition for the musket. There we go. Now, let's show them how tough we are. And we missed. Or did we? <laughs> Lily might have missed the sparrows, but her effect on Shawnee was apparent. He actually seemed a little impressed. You okay, buddy? Shawnee seemed very anxious. If Lily wanted to get the recipe back, she would have to find a way to calm him down. Shawnee seemed very anxious. Lily preferred not to talk to him in this state. She didn't want to risk him pulling out her braids. But she also needed the recipe. What could she do to get a nasty boy like Shawnee to calm down? Well, it does have that lighter here, and we do have something that calms people down. Cigarettes! Lily had heard that cigarettes were supposed to have a soothing effect. And that's... Hooray! <coughs> what a great a job many. Lily had done. 
Shawnee seemed to feel much better already. You can tell by the way his pupils were slowly rotating towards the inside. Oh yeah, that's definitely. Shawnee had dropped a, a cigarette. Time. Apparently his mouth was too full. Oh, so we have ourselves a cigarette, just in case we need to calm down. Anyway, I want to go check on uh, Suka. See if she's still having fun on that tree. Oh, she's gone. And the tree's gone too. Where did she take the tree with her? Hmm. Maybe she's fallen for it. Who knows? Alright. So anyway... Oh, he looks like he's calmed down a bit. That's good, and uh, the little gnome is giving him a nice coat of paint, so he's perfectly alright. And luckily, we have the recipe now. Good for us. So we need to get that to the lunch lady. These little gnomes are everywhere these days. How cute. Oh! You have the recipe? Uh-huh. Well then, let me see it! I can manage that! Duck roast for Lumpy! Good choice! All I need is the canned food for Mother Superior's meal from the cellar! But I can't start cooking again anyway! As long as the stove isn't working, Mother Superior will have to wait for the cat food! Huh. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes when you give her the news! Uh, so we still need to do something about that stove that's not lit. So let's go back out here. So go down to the cellar. So let's see. Did he grab a can of food? This had to be the canned food Doris was talking about. Lily selected pigeon flavor. Mm-hmm. All right, and uh... Let's see, we have this block of wood. Let's use that. We need to uh, completely get rid of the evidence anyways. Lily had placed the log in the stove. Now she just had to light it. Oh, and we have something that's on fire. More or less. Hooray. Back to Doris. Here you go. Ah! You found the canned food! Uh-huh. Very good. I guess that means I can start cooking the meal now! I'll put the roast for the cat in the dumbwaiter right away! But I won't be able to fit anything else in there! I can't send Mother Superior's food up until you put the empty plate back in the dumbwaiter! Got it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's just hope so! Okay, so... That's all done with. We can go back here. Oh, there's the missing child. I was beginning to hope you'd been eaten by a wild animal on the way. But at least you brought the food. I have to finish a few tasks now. Feed Lumpy while I'm gone. And don't even think about leaving the office before the work is done. Okay. I can hear the pigeons somewhere. Hmm, but how will we get to it? Anyway, for some reason there's a roast up here. It's not the recipe, but let's see if uh, Lumpy likes it. How disappointing. It seemed Lumpy didn't feel like eating roast at all. How would Lily ever finish her task now? You picky kitty. Well, I guess uh, this guy might like the roast. Ah. And let's put the plate back in. And we finally cat food have the cat with food. Pigeon flavoring. The cafeteria never served anything this delicious. Does it say the same thing if I just Cat look at food it? The cafet oh yeah, it does. Okay, just checking. Actually, what happens if I look at this? Lily way? had no idea how to smoke, but she didn't want to quit just yet. Maybe tomorrow. 
<laughs> okay. Lumpy obviously enjoyed the pigeon flavored cat food, and it really looked like he already had an idea where to get second. Too bad the wall was too smooth for his claws. Hmm, so I guess the pigeon is up there, and the kitty wants more pigeon. But how will we help him get up there? Well, we have a grain screen and a hook here. <clears throat> Someone was in a rush. Oh, that's what Lumpy had smelled. The pigeon that had stolen Edna's diary was sitting on one of the beams. But the cat still isn't getting to it. The pigeon maybe needs to move somehow? At the moment, Lily felt even smaller than usual. Hmm. Well, if we can uh, scare the pigeon, that'd be fine. We can use firecrackers, but uh, we're a bit too far below for that. Perhaps if we send them up. Lily kept the idea at the back of her mind. Uh, yeah, it looks like they're already lit anyway. It was a tricky plan, but Lily was running out of options. Oh. My goodness! I see that Lumpy has finally had a meal. Why? This is quite a surprise. Perhaps all hope is not lost for you yet after all. And now leave me alone. Maybe I was too strict with the girl and her fellow students. They're only ch children after all. Was I too hasty, <coughs> Lord? Should I stop Dr. Marcel from coming before he tries his new method on the children? Please, give me a sign. What's that? A dove? Or at least a pigeon of peace? Is this your sign? Should I spare the children? Oh, Lord. Thank you. I... What? That ch 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 Those damn ch ch children That's it! i finally reached my limit! Uh, let's get out of here. When Lily walked into the sleeping quarters, Edna was gone. All she found was a hastily scribbled letter on her bed. Take care, Lily Fred. I have to go. This situation is getting too hot for me to stay. I'll wait for you at the swing tree for a bit. If you hurry, you might still catch me. Otherwise, you can find my hiding place in the map in my diary. I'm sure you've already found it, right? Stay dirty. Love? Edna. The letter made Lily nervous. She had to catch up with Edna at all costs. Psst! Lily! Harry! This way! The doctor and Mother Superior are already hot on your heels! Lily looked all around in surprise. What kind of strange place was this? You're probably asking yourself what kind of strange place this is, right? But there's no time for explanations now. Come on! Hurry! Uh, this is interesting. Lily paid no attention to Garrett's frantic pace. First, she wanted to look at everything in peace. Could there be a secret passage here? You might be right. Let me think for a moment. On the other hand, she wasn't interested in these technical knickknacks at all. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. Stop dragging! Let's go! So what are you up to, Garrett? I thought he was supposed to be a bad guy. Stop! That's Dr. Marcel with Mother Superior. I don't think they've seen us yet. She isn't in her bunk, but she can't be far. I'm surprised that you tolerate this kind of insubordination in your convent. I'll have the entire ground search for her immediately. Do that. All of this seems unpleasantly familiar to me. Let's go. This is our chance.
So that was the Dr. Marcel everyone was talking about. Hmm, and he's in a wheelchair. The doctor was surely someone you could talk to about anything. But Lily couldn't think of anything to talk about. Well, let's uh, follow Garrett. <laughs> when Lily reached the swing tree, she found no trace of Edna. Garrett had vanished too, but the remnants of Edna's diary were lying in the grass. Hmm, all right. Guess the pigeon got tired. It had been burned and was no longer readable. Only the map of Edna's hiding place could still be deciphered. Ah, it's a cave at Moore Lake. Lily was just trying to memorize the way when... Psst, Lily, hide! Dr. Marcel and Mother Superior are coming! Oh no, too late! There she is! Huh. You probably thought you could escape my examination, huh? Or is there another reason for disobeying Mother Superior's instructions? Uh-huh. Well, let's hear it. Entertain us. Oh, we have some options. Edna's fault. Garrett made me do it. Dr. Marcella's evil. Berries from Mother Superior. Nazi vampires in the backyard. Berries from Mother Superior. Uh -oh. This is taking too long for my taste. Oh, geez, that's... Oh, right on top of the pigeon. Was that really necessary? Not really, but it brought some satisfaction to an old man who has had to deal with defiant children one too many times. You must not contradict adults. You must not lie. You must not play with fire. You must not use sharp objects. You must not touch alcohol. You must not hang around dangerous places. You must not lose control. And you must never follow your own wishes. Woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie. Woogie indeed. <laughs> and? Did it work? We'll find out in a moment. Lily, I'm sure you can tell me who's responsible for all the chaos in this institution. <laughs> the chaos, Lily. Who's responsible? Now start talking, you useless ch 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 Remain calm, Mother Superior. She'll answer. She'll answer. Do you know the answer, Lily? Who's responsible? You can tell me, can't you? <laughs> Are we giving away, Edna? What's going on? What did she say? This case is more complicated than I thought. It's eminently important that you tell me something. Do you know a girl by the name of Edna? Oh, no. Why do you ask? I think I've just pinpointed the root of all this evil. It's good that I was able to install all of the important behavioral blocks inside Lily with the aid of my new hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy? Hypnosuggestion, to be precise. The light diodes that I have installed in the eyes of this stuffed rabbit help me take direct control over Lily's free will. From now on, she will behave very calmly. But here, just try it out for yourself. Try it out? That's right. She's now as obedient as a little lamb. Well... Go ahead. Lily, serve the doctor and me some tea. Bravo! Ha ha ha. Well, I'm thirsty anyway. What do you say now, Lily? Would you like to serve her some tea? You know what? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, I will not. I'm uh -oh. not going to serve you any tea. Uh-oh. 
But uh, every time we disobey, as you can see, something shocks us because of this hypnotherapy thing. And now you know why it's called Harvey's New Eyes. That finally becomes apparent. It's also interesting that Edna hasn't had Harvey with her this whole time, which when she had her had him all the time in the first game. So uh, obviously Dr. Michelle has taken Harvey somehow and put those new eyes and made him into a hypnotizing little thing. And yes, there's a reason I'm doing this. Um, if you get electrocuted enough times for disobeying, you get an achievement, and you can do this at any point in the game. But I just want to do it now because this is the easiest part to do it at. It's like something like 15 times. But yeah, eventually you're going to have to say yes to progress with the plot. Oh, uh, sorry, Lily. This probably hurts. Oh, there it is. One too many. Sorry. All right. Let's do it. Oh, we have to serve them some tea. Mother Superior seemed as angry as usual. But there was something else. Could it be fear? Lily had to be mistaken. So that was the Dr. Marcel everyone was talking about. The funny rabbit with the glowing eyes was sitting indifferently on the chair. Maybe Lily would be allowed to play with him for a while. Uh, and look, we have a new little thing, restrictions. So these are all the things we can do without getting shocked. Make fire, contradict adults, drink alcohol, lie, enter dangerous places, use sharp objects, get angry, or do whatever you want. So uh, that is unfortunate. But can we get past these restrictions? Can we find Edna? Can Garrett help us? You just got to find out next time on Let's Play Harvey's New Eyes. Thank you for watching and have a good day.